Hi, Pipe Smokers. It's Paul the Pipe Guy again, live from Rochester, New York. I wanted to do a follow-up review on these General Grant cigars. Oh, they come in a beautiful box. Yeah, look at that. General Grant cigars. And actually, these were on back order for about six months. You couldn't find them anywhere. And inside this beautiful box, it's got a picture of General Grant, who actually uh, used to smoke about 20 cigars per day, which is a lot. He ended up dying from throat cancer at the age of 63 after his presidency of the United States. And it was a horrible death, so you don't want to smoke 20 of these a day. But they come in a box of 30, and uh, they come in a wrapper, like so, all cigars. They don't have a ring or anything around them. And uh, <clears throat> they're actually made in the Dominican Republic, handmade. It has a Sumatra wrapper, and they are 42 gauge by 5 inches long. So... Um, great cigars and there's 30 of them and they're like $32 and 50 cents so anyway so there was a huge run on these cigars everyone loved them uh, out of the ratings I found a couple of different ones uh, there's one site cigars.com out of 350 ratings they were rated 4 stars now, you're not getting a David off or a punch, all right? Uh, basically, what you're getting is you're getting like an old-school American-wrapped cigar. You know, it's not perfectly smooth. I mean, uh, I want to show you the difference between this other cigar. Okay, so here we have a punch, Classico. That's a 50 gauge, and it's probably 8 inches long. You can see how smooth it is, and, you know, when you graduate up to Davidoff's, which are like top of the line, uh, they're even smoother than this, and you can see the General Grant is a little, little bit lumpy and so forth, but when I first got these, because they were on back order for so long, um... They must have ramped up production, and, uh, you know, normally they'll let the cigars cure a little bit, and um, so when I first got the General Grant cigars, I went to light one up, and it just seemed squishy to me. It seemed like there wasn't enough tobacco filler in it, uh, and it seemed damp, and it didn't burn evenly, and so forth, and I was like, man, it's a little disappointing. Um so what I did is I set the box aside, didn't put it in my humidor. I actually put a couple of the cigars in the humidor, and these are actually known as Coronas. So 42 gauge by 5 inches long, and uh, they're a great smooth smoke. Uh, and for thirty-two fifty, they're about a dollar a piece. I mean, you know, something like this is going to run you 6 $7 for a nice punch. Uh, and that's a commitment. That's like, I'm going to sit around the campfire for two hours and smoke this, where this, you can actually make it last for an hour or so. So, uh, I was wondering and kind of disappointed that they were so damp and squishy and, and just seemed like it didn't have enough tobacco fill in it. Then I was watching a, uh, video on how they make David off cigars. And uh, they were saying that what they do is they take the cigar, and after it's rolled and everything, uh, this outer wrapper, okay, uh, which they have different wrappers. There's Sumatra, there's uh, Connecticut Shade, which is a lighter wrapper. There's a Maduro, which is this, which is a darker colored wrapper. This, I would say, is probably a Maduro wrapper. Actually, it's Sumatra. But, uh, so, uh, they were saying on the Davidoff ones, they have to actually let them sit because after they wrap this, the wrapping has to be very, very moist and damp, uh, so that they can form it. 
and what it has to do is it actually has to dry out a bit and what it does is it shrinks and compresses the tobacco inside of it so now I was like aha I'll just let these cigars sit for a while and I've had a couple of them in my humidor for probably four months I mean I went to order these things almost a year ago so uh, they're not squishy anymore and this is one that's been in my humidor and I only anytime you hydrate a tobacco or a cigar in a humidor you have to use distilled water only pure distilled water Otherwise, if you use regular tap water or regular bottled water, there's impurities in it, and you're going to get mold. You're, you're most likely going to get mold on your tobacco and your cigars. So uh, I got this cool uh, cutter, which I actually did a little video on. It's made by 69 Bourbons, and uh, it comes uh, with a lifetime guarantee. And... Uh, this thing is cool. It's actually stainless steel and brass knobs, uh, and it's covered in walnut. It has a walnut covering on it. So the way you use this is you pull this lever down. It's got two blades that open up, and after you snip off your cigar, it conveniently locks. Okay, so this thing's cool. Made by 69 bourbons. I forgot where I got this thing. I think it was off of pipesandcigars.com. So we're going to clip the end off of this, all right? And the way you want to do it, you don't want to take it way up here. You grab it a little down here on the bottom. Boom. That thing as sharp as sharp can be. Cuts it off. There's no fraying or anything like that. Hmm. The draw on this is nice. Now, maybe some of you cigar aficionados might not agree with this, but I kind of like to moisten up the outside of the wrapper a little. Um, this may appear gross, but that's what I like to do. And then I'll just kind of let that soak in just a little bit. It's not like I'm like drenching it, okay? Just slightly put your tongue and your lips over it so it does get it just a little bit moist and you'll notice uh, the moisture will soak in pretty quick and a well-kept humidor uh, is kept at about 70 to 72 uh, as far as uh, humidity level uh, and I have a couple of handmade humidors that I made many, many years ago, probably 25 years ago, that I still use. So, let's light her up. Now, uh, I have this Oliva lighter. And this is a torch lighter. Now, you don't want to use this on your pipes. Because that sucker's hot. It'll burn your briar. Alright? But, so you basically go over the end of your cigar just a little bit, not trying to start it on fire, just warm it up. Mm. Oh yeah, look how it lights that up. Mm -hmm. And uh, tobacco especially cigar tobacco <coughs> does mellow over time. Somebody once told me that you can tell a good cigar by how long the ash will get without falling off. Now actually uh, the reason why I don't smoke a lot of cigars is because I do inhale cigars. Probably shouldn't. Oh. Now this is 
just one great cigar. Like I said, I went from disappointment to a damp cigar that didn't burn evenly, that felt loose and damp, to all of a sudden watching a video on, aha, you have to let them set and chill for a while and dry out a little bit. Fantastic cigar. I would definitely, definitely recommend these General Grants, and they come in Cigarello size uh, or the uh, Corona size, which is that size there, 42 gauge by uh, 5 inches long. Just a great mellow cigar. That just keeps getting better with age. And look at how evenly that's burning for a one dollar cigar. Mm. But back in like Civil War times and stuff like that, that's what they had. They didn't have like perfect freaking cigars like this, you know. Anyways, so that is my General Grant Cigar Review. If you can find a box of these anywhere for $32.50, get them. If they feel damp and kind of soggy, like there's not enough tobacco in them, just let them sit for a while. Let them sit for two, three, four months. If they even dry out a little bit, you can always put them in a humidor and revitalize them. So I'm Paul the Pipe Guy. Thanks for watching my cigar review. Over and out.